what trees won't drop leaves over my garden? That's the question that many gardeners ask. Interestingly, all trees drop their leaves over the year. Deciduous trees drop their leaves in one heap in autumn, whereas evergreen trees, like natives, often shed their leaves over the whole 12 months of the year. So instead of sweeping up the leaves just at one time of year, you'll be sweeping them up all year round. A frustrated gardener is wondering why her wisteria isn't flowering. Well, common reasons is that the plant may be too young because they typically don't flower until they're eight or 10 years on. Also, if it's being overfed during the growing season with a high nitrogen-based fertiliser, which means excessive foliage at the expense of flowers. Or if you've done an absolute hack job in pruning it and you've taken away the one-year-old canes, which then develop buds and flowers the following year. You can address those or do what I do and grow grapes. A local gardener's asked me why their daffodils aren't flowering in the second year. Well, it could be one of several things. Firstly, not allowing the plant to die down naturally at the end of the season, to take those nutrients back into the bulb. Secondly, it could be over-fertilising during its foliage phase in that second year. Also, if the bulbs are in a shady spot or too crowded, they can fail to flower in the second year and beyond. So address those things and you will be laughing. grow bamboo in your garden? You certainly can, but I would give you a word of caution. There are two types of bamboo, the running bamboos, which send out a rhizome like that and then shoot up, and they can virtually run amok. The other kind is the clumping bamboo. It stays in an area about 30 to 40 centimetres, shoots up. It is the fastest growing plant in the world. Amazing things, bamboos. A common complaint about camellias is they set lots of buds, but the buds drop before they have a chance to open. When that occurs, it's too late to do anything about it. The most likely cause is moisture stress during the development of the flower buds. So during spring and summer, if the weather's dry, give them once weekly waterings, nice and deep, and feed the plants, and hopefully they'll not just have the energy to produce lots of flower buds, but they'll have the strength to open them as well. <laughs>